Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, joining you for another teaching and learning session this time around for set number 41 for our next generation NCLEX RN pointers. And before we begin, let me invite everyone to please join me to realize this goal to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. We've done this in the past two years, and with your help, we were successful. We were able to provide application and review funds to 100 nurses from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, especially those nurses who are hard up logistically. Now, I'm once again knocking in to your, I know, generous souls and heart, okay? To please do help us achieve this year this goal for this year and for you to do that just watch and finish the ads in our videos thank you in advance for doing so so without further ado here's our first set of pointers now the first question that you have to ask yourself when you're preparing for the next generation NPLEX RN is where do I begin what are the things that I need to master? What are the concepts that I need to focus on? And for you to be able to answer these questions, you need an expert opinion. And this is where our system would come in. Of course, we have experienced mentors. I, for one, have been monitoring the trends on the NCLEX since the 90s. So you talk about more than three decades of experience, and that's something that we at the Ray Gapo system consider as our main advantage. So the first concept that I'd like to highlight, especially for those who are taking the test in time soon, would be scarlet fever. And take note, for scarlet fever, it is usually triggered by a strep throat or a streptococcal sore throat. Now, the most outstanding manifestation of scarlet fever would be the presence of your sandpaper-like rushes, and medically, this is um, called pasture lines, and this is described as the presence of hyperpigmentation on the skin. Now, the presence of a red strawberry tongue also signifies the presence of scarlet fever. Now, since this is a, an infectious condition, the treatment would usually involve antibiotics like your penicillin and erythromycin. So since these antibiotics could potentially trigger an allergic reaction, it's very important for the client to inform their healthcare providers if they have any allergies. And should there be any allergy, usually the healthcare provider would provide an alternative medication and alternative medications could be cephalosporins, azithromycin, or clarithromycin. Now, what is significant to note when your client has been diagnosed with scarlet fever is to pay particular attention to the potential development of complications. Now, we, the most common complication could be your rheumatic heart disease, okay? Now, how would you know that the patient could be developing rheumatic heart disease? Pay particular attention to the development of polyarthritis or painful tender joints, specifically in the lower extremities, specifically the knees, the ankles, and in the upper extremities, the elbows and the wrist. Now, there could also be uncontrollable movement, otherwise known as chorea, and of course, the presence of chest pains and palpitation. So, for the most important discharge instruction that you have to tell your patient, focus on compliance with the treatment, specifically with the antibiotics. And of course, we need to tell them to avoid getting themselves exposed in crowded areas, okay? So before we proceed any further to our next concept, we'd like to congratulate Jason Galang from St. Jude College here in Manila, Philippines for passing the New York Board of Nursing Next Generation NCLEX last February 8, 2024. And here is his success recipe. 
To God be all the glory, having a full-time job, managing a business, being a university student, and reviewing for the NCLEX all at the same time. Oh, that's just a lot on somebody else's plate. Is a daunting task, especially if you are already in your golden years. Okay. But with a proper game plan, that's a key. Game plan, perseverance, and determination, nothing is impossible. I could not have done it without Ray A. Gappas Review System. Salute to all the mentors, the ITs, and all the staff. You guys are simply wonderful. You made me feel at home right from the get-go. To the man himself, Dr. Ray Gappas, thank you very much for mentioning me. I'd like to also share this important announcement of mine. If you don't find me in your class, that's not a Ray Gappas System class. I am always a part of the mentors who would be teaching you concepts based on our functional concepts method, okay? So you have to see me. If I'm not there, that is not an official class conducted by my company, okay? So he's trying to, he's saying thank you to me for the guidance and the words of wisdom. I do hope you will be blessed with good health and continue nurturing future USRNs. The Ray Gappos Review System is simply the best. Thank you for the very kind words from the functional concepts. That's the unique method of the Ray Gappos System. Bootcamp, Quick Fix, all the books, Pharmacology, and NCLEX 311. It is indeed a complete package. They provided me all the knowledge that I needed and gave me mental toughness. I will forever be grateful to Sir Ray and the whole team. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Thank you so much, Jason. So here we go. Special thanks to my mom and dad for all the love and support to my kids for never wavering on your trust and confidence in me in spite of all the tribulations. To all my relatives and friends for all your prayers and encouragement. Maraming salamat po. Finally, to my better half, my prayer warrior, CPU, for believing in me, providing the extra push and the inspiration. Again, to God be the glory. He just did not pass the NGN through our system. In fact, she found love in a boot in our boot camp. Okay. <laughs> of course that's chismis. Okay. So anyway, maybe if you're looking for like-minded individuals who are well driven and they would want to turn their dreams to reality, join our boot camp. You're not just gonna find your armament. So turn your great American dreams to reality. But more than that, you'll find your inspiration. And who knows? Could be your forever. So see you in our next bootcamp. That's going to be in April 3, 2016 at the summer capital of the Philippines in Baguio City. Okay. Now the second, and um, this is an important topic that I'd like to highlight because more often than not, we know very, very few things about toxoplasmosis. So this is a parasitic um, condition. It's actually caused by a protozoa known as toxoplasmosis gondii that's, that's transmitted either through hot litter or half-cooked meat. So pregnant clients who usually develop the infection eventually develops complications specifically for the baby. So infection with toxoplasmosis could be fetotoxic. Therefore, always instruct the pregnant client not to do the discarding of the cut litter box. And of course, even cleaning it, they have to avoid it. And they have to use gloves while gardening. And the most important thing, before they eat meat, they have to make sure that it's properly cooked with the appropriate temperatures. Okay, now there are three body parts that are affected in toxoplasmosis. It affects the lymph nodes, the central nervous system, and of course, the muscles. So therefore, the main symptoms would be muscle aches, lymphadenopathy, and sore throat. Now, there are two specific drugs that you have to remember, and the drug of choice could be dependent on whether the client is pregnant or not. So if the client is pregnant, the drug of choice would be pyrimethamine. And if the client is non-pregnant, the drug of choice could be any of your sulfonamides. Example would be your sulfasalazine, okay? So these are anti-parasitic drugs. Now, what is the danger of toxoplasmosis? Since it affects the central nervous system, it could potentially cause 
seizures. So it's very important to inform or provide information to the client related to the impending signs of seizure. Like for example, if the patient experiences headache or visual or auditory hallucinations or seeing flashes of light or hearing strange sounds, it's very, very likely that the parasite has infested the brain. So it's important that the client should be told that they need to report this to their healthcare provider, okay? And of course, I'd like to congratulate all our passengers from all around the world, and we are having hundreds of thousands of them from more than 30 countries worldwide. Now, the third concept that I'd like to highlight would be mastitis. Now, you don't believe it, but the most common source of the infectious agent that causes mastitis could be the baby's mouth. However, even if it could be related to the presence of microorganisms in the baby's mouth, you have to instruct the patient to still continue breastfeeding the child, even if they're having mastitis. So in mastitis, focus on the syndrome that defines it. You have fever, you have swelling, redness, and tenderness of the breast, okay? So that's related to the presence of infection of, on the breast tissues. Now, in severe cases, the client could have nipple discharge and even swollen lymph nodes. What is important is the client is given the right combination of treatments like antipyretics, analgesics, and of course, antibiotics because you have an infection. And the priority for these clients would be maintaining adequate hydration, continuing breastfeeding the child, and of course, increasing caloric intake by 500 calories per day because you are breastfeeding the child. That's if you only have one baby. So 500 calories for each baby being breastfed. So if you have twin babies, then that, that goes up to 1,000 calories. Okay, And then we instruct the client to wear snug fitting bra and provide proper nursing care. Proper nursing care could mean you instruct the client to either have hot compress or warm bath to relieve the pain on the tender breast tissues. And of course, we also can alternately use cold compress to relieve pain and to suppress lactation. So once again, the baby must be fed even in the presence of mastitis. So instruct the client, continue breastfeeding the baby. Now, the second issue for those who are preparing for the NGN is how do you study? You have to learn how to study with technology. There's one student whom I remember telling me, because I asked her, why didn't you get a perfect score in a test drill that we have? And her answer was, Sere, in my mind, I know the right answer, but I cannot just seem to coordinate how I navigate the use of the mouse such that when I press on it, it kind of slip from the option that I'm supposed to click to the next one. And so she wasn't able to navigate the technology properly. So she's getting incorrect answers. So it doesn't necessarily mean that if you're getting low scores that you don't know your concepts, it could simply mean that you are not yet added with the technology required to pass MGM. And with the Regapo system, we have our own technology. So let's listen to what Isa Pipita, one of our passers, has to say. Isa Pipita, rather. I took my exam last February 7, 2024, very recent, and thanks God, I'm now a USRN. Hindi po naging madali sa akin ang lahat kasi buntis ko ako, then seven months pregnant to ako nang nag-take ako ng exam. So what she's saying is that she took the exam on her seven months of pregnancy. She pre started the preparation rather on her seven months of pregnancy. So one month preparation ko po naging sandalan ko ang gapo. So in her one month of preparation, um, the Ray Gapo system served as her foundation. Malaki po talaga ang naitulong sa akin ng comprehensive review. So she's saying that the comprehensive review 
was the one that helped her the most because it refreshed her for all the concepts. Then she used the core shell. Now the core shell is a separate tool that has everything in it from QBank to videos to Pecha Kucha to sample standalone questions, sample NGM questions, okay? Yung core shell po ang dahilan, bakit na build and stamina po. So she's pointing out to the core shell experience as the one that developed her mental stamina. When it comes to answering questions, and lastly, sir, umatiyan po ako ng dalawang sessions niyo sa Quick Fix Online. So she attended two sessions of my Quick Fix Online. So uh, one session could mean three days, and each day, usually the sessions would last from eight to ten hours. Okay, you can just imagine the stress on her. She's pregnant. And the gamit ko po yung syndromic approach. So she was able to use our primary technique and strategy, the syndromic approach. And the strategy that when it comes to answering both types of questions, pero I'll make sure that every morning, okay, I'm having my Bible study. Because nothing is impossible with God. What a beautiful way to end the testimonial related to her success recipe. I said, well, congratulations. Which part of our class helped you the most? And this is what she's saying. Um, may, she had like three prioritization standalone questions. Uh, like heavy bleeding versus chest pain. Which one would be your priority? So she just gave an example. And this is one thing that is very, very important for us to know, okay? So, once again, our learning tools are uniquely created based on Gen Z learner characteristics, okay? So I'd like you to focus on that, okay? Specifically, our book, uh, NCLEX 311, which is the local edition of NCLEX RN in a flash. And of course, this is an example of our our shells okay and our NGN pointers okay pay particular attention to pointers number three for you to pass the NGN you have to be in a conducive environment here at the radio ecosystem we have our own NGN simulation room and the most important thing that you have to remember is we don't overload our classes so each class is very comfortable. Okay, so may I invite you to join the next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. Your choice of live face to face classes, live virtual class, on demand unlimited video recorded lessons, our Q bands, plus our three groups, plus the engine strategies and sample questions that we have, and of course, the Ray Gapos quick fix sessions. Remember, the fee starts at 3499 So once again, this is Ray Gapus, your fact check buddy at your service saying this reminder over and over again. A functional concept a day keeps your NCLEX RN fears away. That's true for the Ray Gapus babies. See you in my next video.